or no exhibition games this year, just jumping right into the fire. The Leafs may not have any exhibition games before the puck drops on their season on Wednesday against the Habs, but on Saturday the team will be facing off against each other with two lineups. Half the team divided to a team blue roster, the other half to the team white roster. You know, to finally get a game um, under our belts before the regular season starts is going to be huge, and I'm um, looking forward to, to playing at Scotiabank Arena. It's going to be exciting. Many of us use sports as an escape from what's happening in the world. And if you're a football fan, this weekend is a marvelous time to get lost in the game because it's NFL Super Wild Card Weekend. The Buffalo Bills, they're one of the games scheduled. And there are hundreds of Bills fans north of the border who are proud members of the Bills Mafia. It's been such a long, hard road of so many heartbreaks that uh, as a Bills fan, everything that happens from here on out kind of feels like it's gravy. Canadian Carlin Gay is a lifelong member of the Bills Mafia, proudly wrapping the team's colors north of the border. This year, Buffalo won the AFC East title for the first time in 25 years. I can definitely say that I'm appreciating the little things a lot more as a fan. I don't take things for granted anymore, uh, having to kind of suffer through the down years uh, for the Buffalo Bills. Carlin will be watching the Bills play the Indianapolis Colts this weekend anxiously as Buffalo is hoping to snap a six-game playoff losing streak that dates back to 1996. I honestly hope that uh, they can make a run. I am a little bit worried for my liver, for the amount that I may consume if they do get there. Even if you aren't a football fan, you probably have seen the celebrating that the Buffalo Bills fans have pre or post game, including their legendary tailgate parties that involve people throwing themselves on tables. Have you ever jumped off of anything to smash a table because it feels like it's a code of honor as a Bills Mafia member? I haven't earned that badge yet on my sash. Uh, I'm getting there. I haven't earned that badge yet. But you know what? At this point, I've waited this long that I'm saying to myself that if they do win the Super Bowl, uh, the first thing I'm doing is going down to a Home Depot near me and I'll, uh, I'll buy myself a table and hopefully some health insurance will come alongside with it because uh, I'll definitely need that as well. <laughs> Lindsay Dunn, City News.